you're not supposed to. Oh my gosh! Oh. What's up, dude? We got some good conditions today. Yeah. How's it going? All right. Come on in. I'm back on the Occoquan Reservoir. reservoir. Yeah, there My you sub, go. Matt. Matt, I gotta ask, did you bring the uh, rod you dropped today? I did, buddy. It's right here. There you go. All Good right. Proof. One from the uh, the Christmas present from your girlfriend, right? Yep. How long did it take for you to find that when you uh, dropped in the water? It took about 45 minutes. 45? Yeah. Not bad. Uh, let's get out there, see if we can catch some uh, fish on top waters, maybe? Yeah. We're gonna try. Try. We'll see what happens. That was a nice hit off that log. Oh, he's smaller, smaller than the hit indicated. Did you see that blow? Yeah, for sure. Nice way to start the morning. Oh, this fish is warm. That, yeah. that water is 81 degrees. Yeah. One pounder to start the day. Didn't take long. Not bad. On the jig. I love jig fish, dude. I can't help it. There's no one. Oh, dude, these guys, little guys are aggressive. <laughs> You're just release, releasing your fish. That's good. Another one on the spook. Good sign. Yeah, hungry little guy. Because the, the light's coming out. Uh, it's pretty dingy. Using this uh, white and chartreuse uh, spook, stained water, warm water. And uh, Matt, you said there's uh, been a lot of bait jumping around. They just finished spawning the shad. Yep. That's kind of what I'm trying to imitate right now. Definitely. Our full start grow. Tournament we fish, which is the first one we got to limit. That's a great four, four fish. fish. There's, like, oh, there's, there's one. <laughs> Getting your there you go. The top water fish. First, first throw yes. on the frog? First yeah, cast. first cast on the frog. Mm -hmm. I thought that grass looked good. Solid. Ate it pretty good too. Good one. There we go. These guys are hungry. Does he have like a cranking series rod? Nah. They don't? Nope. I actually just discontinued my spot. Oh. Nice. Good one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. First good one of the day. There we go. Nice, dude. It's oh. Right where you want to hook them. Perfect. Almost two pounder. We're fishing, uh, fishing these bluff walls right now, mixing it up a little bit. Using a little finesse jig right here, black and blue. Today's going pretty good. We've been fishing only for what? Let's see, we've been fishing for... Here we got 5.30? Yeah, we're fishing two and a half hours. Got about five or six fish. Five. It's five fish. Fifth fish of the day. Not bad. Not bad at all. I was reeling that jig back in and he hit it. These fish are aggressive. A little cookie cutter. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> oh, you got one? Alright. I had a bluegill. Uh, another one on the jig. And this is kind of that area you're uh, pointing out, the transition uh, transitional zone. Yeah, and then we saw a bunch of bait right there. I mean, you can like, see yeah. that. That's actually, I think, I believe it's a fish kind of moving underneath the boat. And there's a bunch of bait there, but... Got another little chunk. Yeah, not too bad. It's an upgrade, I think, from all my fish. I don't think I've caught one bigger than this one yet. So, see you, buddy. This grass looks good. Oh yeah, it's not too thick. I can throw my frog in it. Oh yeah, there you go. Good one. Uh, nah, not really. Okay. Oh. Nice the jig again. Oh, oh, Win. count it. Wait, wait. <laughs> Today we've been uh, focused on fishing the bank pretty much the entire day. Fishing uh, grass, wood, rock walls, anything we could find. 
Just covering a lot of water, throwing some different baits. Still trying to find that one big one. Still looking. Uh, pretty confident though. I have a feeling we're gonna get bit. Good one. Oh, oh, fuck, he got off. This little guy. Oh no, I did get him. Wait, what? Hey. Hey, we got one out deep. <laughs> We're going for that five pounder. This is what I uh, what I come up with. Try and plan B because uh, shallow didn't really produce any big fish. Yep. Got this monster. Want to live line it? <laughs> That's kidding. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna throw it off. See ya, buddy. Oh, what is, wait, what is, is that snakehead? snakehead dude. That's snakehead. snakehead. What? Yeah, that's the F? I didn't know there's snakeheads in here. Dude, that's what I was telling you about. That's okay. So I know. Oh, oh, get oh! Come back. Oh my God. Come back. That's so sick. We are not. We have to get that. That'd be pretty sweet. Throw your jig at it. Oh, he's at. He's still there. He's still there. He's looking at my bait. He's still there. He's right. Damn, I think he might be done. If he came out like three times, he might be like this. Dude, that was cool. That would've been that would've been cool, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. That was pretty interesting. You said that you st you heard that uh, snakeheads are starting to invade here. Yeah. I've never seen one until just now. Little one right there. That was sick. We're about to head out, and Matt here uh, has an interesting uh, superstition. What do you got going on here? So this is my pull starter. It broke in tournament number six, where we finally got a limit. We've gone three tournaments with limits, so I haven't put it on yet because it's I'm superstitious. So this is what I've been doing. Hey, well, your last three tournaments that uh, you caught limits, didn't you? Three, last three tournaments, yep. Damn, this is stuck <laughs> that time. No, it's fine. Don't worry. Back to the ramp. There we go. Let's roll. Hey, if you guys have any superstitions, go ahead and list them in the comments section below. You know, anything fishing related, I'm sure there's a couple. And also, uh, don't forget to check out Matt's channel. He's putting up uh, tournaments of him fishing uh, the series on uh, this reservoir, right? Yep. It's good stuff and uh, quick recap for today. We caught a lot of bass, about 10 each I'd say. The biggest was uh, approximately two pounds. The morning bite was definitely the best with uh, a lot of fish coming from shallow grass on these uh, two topwater baits. Then once the sun came up, it was pretty much all just uh, flipping and pitching with jigs to uh, produce our strikes. We had found a lot of fish shallow. Um, didn't really spend a lot of time out deep. That may have been where the uh, bigger fish were considering the uh, water temp was approximately 80 degrees. We'll have to uh, perhaps check that out next time. And one more thing, I decided to discontinue my partnership with 13 Fishing. They're a good company, make solid products, but I really miss using all my old rod and reels. So you're gonna be seeing these guys come back in future videos.